So to get started with the Samsung SDK for their smart TVs, the first thing you need to do is go to the Samsung D forum site. So this is the Samsung developer forum where you can get all the information about how to develop for smart TVs as well as download all the necessary documentation. So what we're going to do is you need to create an account and then of course sign in. And this will give you access to all of the documentation on the site. Now the first thing you need to do is go to the apps guide area and down here you'll see the download SDK. From here you're going to see several different versions of the SDK that you can download. Right now you need to download this SDK 2.5.1. They do have a 3.0 but it is in development right now so the stable version is 2.5.1. And from here you'll see some messaging and then of course at the bottom of the screen you can download um, the actual setup file. Once you download this you just unzip it and then install it as you would any other application. Now while you're here you need to also download a few documentation files. So under documents you're going to see all the documents listed for the various versions of the SDK. Once again we're working with the SDK 2.5 so we'll go here and there are a lot of different documents to look at um, that tell you how to use various features of the smart TV platform but I think the first things you need to look at are the app development guide for Samsung smart TV um, you also need to review the device API guide and very important is to review the SDK UX guideline. Okay, so once you've got everything installed and downloaded your documents, you want to go ahead and start the SDK. And this is going to be a development environment that we will use to create an application and to test in the emulator as well as to package your files to get them on the TV, which we'll explain in, in the next video.